64% minus 8% square is equal to what? And remember that answer is not 0. Pause the video and let me know your answer in the comment section. Now here we have percentage, subtraction and exponent also. So first we will have to convert the percentage into a fraction. So 64% means 64 upon 100 because percentage means parts per 100. So A percent is A upon 100. Then minus 8% is 8 upon 100. Then it is squared. Now 8% doesn't mean that we will simply square 8 and that will be 64 then it becomes 64 percent and 64 percent minus 64 then it becomes 0 but this is not how it is done first we will have to convert the percentage into fraction now this is a real number after this when we follow order of operation we first solve parenthesis then comes exponent multiplication division addition subtraction here is no parenthesis but we have exponent and subtraction is at the end so before subtracting we have to solve this exponent so it will be 64 upon 100 minus 8 upon 100 square so that will be 64 upon 100 times 100 will be 10,000 now we have a fraction that we need to subtract to, for a fraction to subtract the fractions we need common denominator if we multiply and divide this fraction by 100 upon 100 then nothing is going to change because when we multiply and divide a number by the same number it is like multiplying that number by 1 and multiplying a number by 1 means nothing it is the same number so we can multiply and divide by the same number and the fraction remains same we are not changing the fraction so we can multiply and divide by 100 upon 100 so this is now 6400 upon 10,000 minus 64 upon 10,000 now they have a common denominator so we can simply subtract them 6400 minus 64 is equal to 6336 upon 10,000 now we can represent this in the form of decimal we count the zeros 1 2 3 4 zeros so we put decimal counting the digits 1 2 3 4 so it will be 0 decimal 6 3 3 so in the decimal form this will be the answer what will is the answer in the percentage form to convert this into percentage we need to multiply it with 100 when we convert it percentage to fraction we divided it by 100 so now we have to convert fraction into percentage so we will multiply by 100 so 0 and 0 gets cancelled now we have two zeros in the denominator so decimal will be after two digits so it will be 63 decimal 36 percent so in percentage form this will be the answer what is your answer let me know in the comment section thanks for watching